Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is Kevin. And in this week's video, we're going to take a look at how to configure our Cisco routers as DHCP clients and DHCP servers. Now, we love DHCP, the dynamic host configuration protocol, because it allows the device to dynamically obtain IP address information, like an IP address, a subnet mask, a default gateway, a DNS server, and on and on. And if you have a Cisco router pointing out to a service provider, you may have that service provider dynamically providing your router at your site with an IP address via DHCP. So we're gonna see in this video how we can have a router dynamically obtain an interface's IP address via DHCP. We'll see how we can set up a Cisco router to act as a DHCP server and hand out IP address information for multiple subnets. And we'll also see in this video how to overcome an issue with DHCP beginning with a broadcast, which is gonna be dropped by a router. Specifically, we'll see how to set up a DHCP relay agent. And if you enjoy this training, I invite you to check out the first module from any of our courses you see listed on screen. You can just go to kwtrain.com slash course hyphen samples and absolutely free, you get to check out the entire first module from any of these courses. So you can taste test CCNA. CCMP Enterprise, Security, Collaboration. And if you enjoyed this week's video, please do me a big favor and click the like button, share this video, subscribe, and turn on notifications so we can let you know when our next video comes out. But for now, let's check out how to make Cisco routers act as DHCP clients and servers. In this video, we want to see how we can tell a Cisco router interface to get its IP address information via a DHCP server. And we're going to take it a step further and we're going to actually configure a Cisco router to act as a DHCP server. Let's do that first. I'm on this router labeled DHCP server and we see the PC on screen. It's going to try to get IP address information from this server. So let's go into global configuration mode. And before I create the pool or the scope of addresses to be handed out, there might be some addresses that I want to exclude. What I'll normally do is just set a contiguous range of addresses to make up the pool and have plenty of extra addresses that I could assign to devices that I want to hard code, that I don't want to have dynamic IP address assignments, maybe like a server, maybe like a, maybe like a router interface, maybe a printer. So let's say that I want to allow this DHCP server to hand out IP addresses in the range of 192.168.1.100 all the way through 192.168.1.199. So I'm gonna give a couple of exclusions. I'm gonna say IP DHCP excluded hyphen address, and I'll give a range of excluded addresses. I'm going to exclude 192.168.1.1 all the way through 192.168.1.99. Then we'll start allowing the .100 and .101 and so on. But I want to exclude everything from 200 through 254. So let's just give a second exclusion command. I'll say 192.168.1.200 through 192.168.1.254. Everything in between the .100 through .199, we can give those out once I set up my DHCP pool. Here's how we do that. I'll say IP DHCP pool and I give it a name. And this is gonna be handing out IP addresses we're pretending to a bunch of PCs. So I'll just call the pool PC. That's the name of the pool. And I'm gonna say from what network am I gonna be handing out IP addresses? Say network 192.168.1.0 with the subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. Got a 24 bit subnet mask and some information that we might want to give in addition to IP address information is, what's the default gateway? How did they get off of their local subnet? And here, router R1 is gonna be acting as the default gateway of the PC, and it's gonna have an IP address on gigabit zero slash one of 192.168.1.1. So I'm gonna set that as my default router. I'll say default hyphen router, and give the IP address 192.168.1.1. We'll press enter. And maybe I also want to hand out DNS server information. I'll say DNS hyphen server. And we'll just pretend that we've got a DNS server at 172.16.1.2. Just some context sensitive help. There are lots of things that we could hand out via DHCP. We've just done sort of the basics here, but we're done. And we have completely configured our DHCP server. Let me do a copy run star to save that to our startup config. Now let's go to the PC and say, hey, I want to get IP address information from DHCP. So we'll hop over to the PC 
and this is just a router acting as a PC and the interface pointing over to router R1 is gigabit 0 slash 1. So I'm going to go into interface gigabit 0 slash 1 and here's how I tell an interface to get IP address information via DHCP. I say IP address but instead of putting in an IP address here I simply say DHCP. Press enter and we'll give it just a few seconds. It normally takes a few seconds to get an IP address via DHCP and uh, we can see if we do have an IP address by doing a show IP interface brief command and it says that we're configured for DHCP on this interface but the IP address is unassigned. Should we wait a bit longer? No, because as it is right now it's not going to work. Did you see the step that we missed based on our previous discussion? Remember when we're obtaining IP address information via DHCP, we go through DORA, D-O-R-A, Discover, Offer, Request, Acknowledgement. Well, the D in DOR is the Discover broadcast. And a broadcast does not go through a router. It's going to be dropped. In fact, we saw that happen in the animation just a moment ago. We need to configure router R1 as a DHCP relay agent. We need to add an IP helper address configuration to R1 to say it will forward DHCP discover broadcasts, and there's a handful of other broadcast types that will also forward when we do this, but we're going to forward DHCP broadcasts over to the DHCP server. So let's go to R1 and configure it as a DHCP relay agent. We'll go into global configuration mode and let's go into the incoming interface. We're getting the packet coming into interface gigabit 0 slash 1. I'll say interface gigabit 0 slash 1 and this is how we configure the router as a DHCP relay agent. I'm going to say IP helper hyphen address and I'm going to give the IP address of the DHCP server which is 172.16.1.2. Now Let's go back to the PC and see if we've obtained an IP address. Now look at this. It looks like we have been assigned an IP address. It says we've been given an address via DHCP and it's 192.168.1.100. We can confirm that by doing another show IP interface brief command. Now we have an IP address. And there were really three parts to this configuration that I want you to take away. Number one, we saw how to tell a PC's interface to request IP address information via DHCP. We also saw how to configure a router as a DHCP server. And we saw how to configure a router, R1 in our case, as a DHCP relay agent. Mm -hmm.